These are the bloopers. It's this tricky. Is what we, this is what we start the video with to show how fun, how much fun we're having. <laughs> Are we having fun? This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the website builder built to build your brand. Here we are in the Sonax detailing bay at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum. We've got Robbie Gordon's uh, 1994 Lola Cosworth behind us. And Kyle is about to do something that uh, he's never done on the channel before, and that is control the content. Kyle, wh what are we doing today, and why um, are you going to torture me? I'm about to grill you. We're, we're about to do some Indy 500 trivia, and I have... I have 14 questions, and I'm hoping to absolutely stump you. 14 for AJ. Are we, are we going? Are we ready to do this? I guess we're ready to do this. All right, question number one. How many drivers have won the 500 only one time? <laughs> How many drivers have won the 500 only one time? Yes. How many? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm going to say I can't give only you a one time. No, no, I don't want a hint. I'm going to say... 41. So I do want to give you, there's 105 runnings. Yeah. So you just subtract the number of drivers that have won at multiple. But you got to remember that there's co-champions. Think about it. Oh, for the love of Christ. I can't believe you're not closer to this one. Oh, it's way more than 40 then. 65? It's 87. Oh. <laughs> that we're off to a bad start. Stop asking me math questions. Ask me a real question. How many rookies have won the 500? Nine. It's ten. Wow. Trying not to cuss on this thing. I forgot Rossi. Five drivers have won the 500 two years in a row. Who are they? Two years in a row. How many drivers? Five. Okay, so we have Wilbur Shaw, Al Unser, Elio. There's two more. Two more. Uh, I would say um, Maury Rose. Yep. One more. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I said Shaw, Rose, Unser, Castro Neves. You're right so far. He's I know, I know, I know. Pressure's on. The pressure is on. If you get four, but not the last one. <laughs> who, who won it back to back that I'm missing? I said Al, I said Al Unser, right? This, I've got the easy ones. Oh, Bill Vukovic. There you go. Bam. There we go. You got one, finally. So what's the record for most consecutive wins? The record for most consecutive yeah. wins? Yeah. Like what? how many wins? It's two. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> what year was the phrase greatest spectacle in racing coined? It was on the radio network. Um, I want to say in the 60s. And I want to say... 1965. It's 1955. Oh, 10 years off. What year was the Board Warner Trophy commissioned? Oh, that's a tough one. I believe... Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> 36? You want to try? You want to try again? Fifty-six. Oh, try again. Fifty-five. You're, you're, no, you're close. Fifty-seven. You, your first guess was close. Try again. My first one. Yes. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-five. There you go. You, you don't get that one right, but there you go. Man, look. See, I think. Did you think it was thirty-six? Yeah? Uh, I was thinking first drive. I hope you're editing 35. this because this is going to be insane. The, yeah. 
This makes it fun. Okay. It's commissioned in 35, but the first driver that... So wait, I did get it right. It's the first time... I said started. commissioned. All right. Yeah, Moving that's on. That's a tricky one. That's tricky. So this is, I think this is my favorite one. Who won the 500 in 1957 and went on to drive the pace car from 1959 to 1963? 1957? Yes, who won the 57 500? Sam Hanks. There you go. Yeah. He also went on to drive the pace car. Cool. I think that was a pretty cool stat. Yeah. Who was the youngest driver to win the 500? Uh, Troy Rutman. He was 22 years old. I still have time. I can, I can do it. What were Ray Haroon's race earnings for winning the very first 500 in 1911? It was, I know it was, it was at the time, it was the richest race. Um, I think it was like $40,000, something like that. Lower. 10,000. I was told there's like, diff, but. Because the race purse was like $100,000, but obviously the right. winner doesn't get all of that. A little higher. High, higher than $100,000? 10000 I said 10000 Yeah, I know. A little higher. Oh, 12. It's 14. 14. 14. To be exact, it was 14250 Oh, okay. So five drivers have won the Indianapolis 500 and the Formula One World Drivers' Championship. Who are they? Five. So the F1 World Championship and the Indianapolis yes. 500. So um, I, can, I, I might actually be able to do this in order. So it would be Jimmy Clark, Graham Hill, then it would be Mario, and it would be Emerson, and am I missing one? I said Clark, Hill, Emerson, Mario. One more. It's got to be one of the British Invasion guys, and I'm not thinking of it. You, you are just, you're not thinking of this one, because you know this one. I should know this one. You have to, you know this one. Oh, Jacques Villeneuve. Yeah, there you go. Everybody you forgets Jacques Villeneuve. Yeah. All right. And I did do it in order. What state was Rick Mears born in? It's not California. Yeah. Because that's the trick question. That's why I asked this one, because it's fun. Because I, I, I saw this, and I'm like, man. Rick Mears was born. See, this would have been great for Rocket Rick Mears to tie into that. Rick Mears. I couldn't believe it wasn't California. That's why I'm asking. I can't believe it either. But I'm going to say, I think he's, he's still a West Coaster. There's no way he's yeah, not no, a West yeah. Coaster. Um, so I'm going to say Nevada. Man, no. Why would you agree with that? Well, like, he is a West Coaster. No, like, look at him. Wow. Rick Mears? <laughs> I'll agree that, like, yeah. So but he was so not he, born on the West Coast. He's not born on the West Coast. Okay, I agreed so with him because, like, come on. Illinois. Nah. Kansas. Okay. See, isn't that random? Literally, literally Kansas. He's literally Superman. Isn't, isn't that random? <laughs> it's crazy. So who holds the record for most laps led in the 500? Not like overall, but like most laps led in the race. In a single in race? In a single race, yes. Um, it's uh, Ralph De Palma in uh, 1912. I think he led 192 laps. No? no? Nope. It's not Ralph De It's Oh, I wait. No, it's not. One, it was Ralph De Palma, wasn't it? No. It wasn't. Do you need me to give you the year? Someone, wa someone led every lap but the first one. Wait, sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it wasn't Ralph De Palma. No. Uh, Billy Arnold? Ah, there you go. It's 1930. He led 198 laps. I knew, I knew that, but I was confusing it with when, when Ralph De Palma led like all, all of the laps in 1912, except for the last date when he broke down. I know you're getting this next one. All right. Who holds the record for most laps led without winning the race? It's Michael. Yeah. It's Michael, it's Michael Andretti. Andretti. Michael Andretti. So the last one, the last thing I want to do that I think is going to be fun. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. We're already at 14 questions? Yeah. We, we already oh, got wow. This questions. is breezed by. But I think... What the people want to see and what I want to see is list the 500 winners starting with oh, last you year. Son. Go as far as you can. Oh my God. So I don't know if you noticed yet guys, but it is 2022 and if you don't have a website yet, 
you are falling behind. But don't worry, Squarespace is there to help. I was amazed when I used Squarespace how easy it was to create a totally unique website that truly fit in with my brand. There were some great features on the Squarespace site including the easy integration of all of my social media platforms. You guys know that's a huge part of what I do. I was also amazed how quickly and easily I could set up some really cool things like put a video on the background of my web page. I'm someone who, as a kid, created a whole lot of websites through generic website builders, and I have to tell you that this was such a crazy experience. There are so many options. You really are not limited to the default setups. You can totally create your own website here, totally integrated with your brand, and that will help your brand grow. Check out Squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to Squarespace.com slash David Land to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain.